So we have, um, we've been doing a community awards um, for the last uh, two summits. And we think it's something that's in particular very important because we want to make sure that we're highlighting you know, the, the individuals in the community that everyone might not actually know. And some of them that you do know, but also the end users. So, so this year, um, or this event here in, uh, in Philadelphia, we're, we're doing that as well. Um, we have a couple of different categories. And I'm gonna, we're going to start by talking a bit about our quiet achievers. Now, these are the people that you don't normally see on stage. These are the people that um, do a lot of the hard work kind of behind the scenes, um, but actually make it possible for many of our projects to progress. So why don't you go ahead and let everybody know. First, I want to add on to that, because I think, Denise, yeah. you did a great job yesterday yeah. uh, uh, in part of our empathy conversation of really highlighting the fact that we often hear the loudest voice in the room, and we wanted, we've wanted. we been trying to figure out ways to highlight a lot of the voices that we don't often hear, and so well, that's where the Quiet Achievers came from, and we do try to do the awards to highlight a lot of the action that happens behind the scenes or um, off to the side that may not everyone be aware of. And we do that, one, to highlight the stellar work that happens in our community, but also as a way to encourage others to step up and figure out where you can also participate. So there's a little bit of a subtext here saying, hey, come on, there's more stuff to do. <laughs> so first up on our Quiet Achievers Award is Claudia Beresford. Um, she's amazing, yes. <laughs> MPS Music. Here's the thing. Claudia's not here. They're the Quiet Achievers. The Quiet Achievers. Claudia is unfortunately not able to be here, but I actually want to talk to her, talk about her for just a moment. She works on the garden team and has been killing it for years on the garden team. She's our secret weapon, uh, particularly on the low level problems, uh, bisecting the kernel, reproducing unreproducible problems, tracking fixes upstream, and making all of our containers healthier. So we really wanted to highlight the work that she has done over the years and shine a light on what's actually happening behind the scenes. And the same for the second achiever, David Sabetti. <laughs> David has been part of the Cloud Foundry team, I think since the very beginning, I know for many, many years. He also works tirelessly behind the scenes and is now running our release integration efforts. And if you're not familiar with release integration efforts, it is the critical part that makes Cloud Foundry all that it is and that you can actually pull down. So this is an important and critical part of the work that happened. And again, we wanted to highlight the work that David's been doing. All right, so a round of applause for them. They'll get to see this on video, right? So thank you to both of them for all the work they do. Um, uh, up next, we have um, what we call the advocates. Right? There are a lot of amazing advocates in this community, um, but, but for this event, we wanted to highlight two you know, very special individuals. Um, so, Abby, do you want to introduce them? I do, and I, and I swore backstage I was going to embarrass them both before they came on stage. I didn't. I did. I, I, so, for those of you that were at our event in Basel, uh, these two advocates, Steve Greenberg and DJ Jones, actually did something amazing and um, terrifying. As I got on stage to talk not about Cloud Foundry, but about the importance of, of an inclusive community. And for that, we are going to be eternally grateful forever because that was a really tough thing for them to do. But it also changed the tone and it changed the conversation. Um, beyond that, they're both tirelessly advocates for Cloud Foundry in the community, in the training. They, they work tirelessly behind the scenes and help pitch in whenever they can. And uh, for that, we, are, we, we couldn't be more grateful. So come up on stage, Steve and DJ. We have shiny pieces of plastic to hand them. Look at that. <laughs> All right, how about a really big round of applause for these two amazing people. All right, I'm gonna go.
go to the other side here because I'm going to stop running back and forth behind you. I was actually enjoying that. Feels a little like awkward, doesn't it, people? Back and forth. I was, thought that, I was like, that was great. <laughs> so next up. Yeah, next up, the community awards, the coolest user stories. I mean, we are blessed as a, you know, an open source ecosystem um, filled with wonderful vendors, but. To me, we have amazing end users, right? The customers, the vendors, those that just use the open source directly. Um, incredible stories, right? We get to hear them on stage all the time. We get to see them at breakouts. We have the benefit of running, you know, uh, having conversations with them throughout the year. Um, they're fundamentally changing the, the way their business works and they're improving our lives as, as consumers. So without further ado, Users are, are, you know, to Chip's point, users are no longer just consumers of, of technology, consumers of open source technology. Uh, many of our users are now members participating, uh, doing pull requests and contributing back to the open source in many different ways. And first up on that list is Jay Piskarik. He's a director of platform engineering at Dick's Sporting Goods. And we wanted to give Dick's this particular shout out because they've done an amazing job uh, over the last couple of years um, of leveraging Cloud Foundry as the core part of their digital transformation. And I know that you've probably heard Jay talk about it a bit why this week at Summit, but it's been really impressive to watch them change and transform the retail experience. And, and over the last couple of years, actually in the last year, they've managed to onboard over 40 product teams and ramp up development efforts onto Cloud Foundry. So this has been uh, an amazing user story and one we wanted to highlight. So come up on stage, Jay. Right. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. Amazing work. Thank you. Thank you. All right. But wait, there's more. There's one more user story, and I am super excited about this one. Uh, we, we've talked a lot about Comcast the last uh, 24 hours, particularly <laughs> since we're in Philly, but uh, I know that I gave a shout out to Greg Otto yesterday, but I, we wanted to bring him up as part of the cool user story, but Greg Otto is, is a bit more than just the, a really great user story. Greg Otto continues to be and also a tireless advocate in our community. Uh, for those of you that are users here today, you've probably had a one-on-one -on -one session with Greg. Greg takes the time to spend time with other users and help them. Uh, talk about the journey that they've been on at Comcast, but also encourage others to follow their path. And for that, one, we're grateful as a community for the advocacy that Greg does, but also to highlight the work that Greg has done over the last five years at Comcast, which has been an amazing road that I know we highlighted a lot of the highlights yesterday, but we wanted to give a special shout out to Greg. So come on, Greg. All right. Hey. Congratulations, man. There you go. There's, there's your plastic dish. <laughs> Thank you so much, Greg. Come on, there's more Comcast people in here, right? Come on. Chew your own company. Right? Come on. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we have one more. So for all the others, we, we actually pull the community and, and get your input, but um, um, this is our show, so we sometimes get to pick our own awards. Yes, people we do. We just make them up on the fly sometimes. Yeah, totally. Totally. Um, and so, so we have one of those this time. We do. I, we are, there's so much that happens behind the scenes during the year in our community, but also in particular at Summit. Summit, and I know Chip's highlighted the sponsors, and I'm going to beat that again. We, this doesn't happen without sponsors. But most importantly, it also doesn't happen without the volunteers and those of you from the community that step up and do a lot of the heavy lifting. And so we, we created an award this year to highlight the amazing work that Sarah Lynn's and Ivana Scott have done, particularly around Unconference. Yes. Yeah. Come on up, you two. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. The work. Sorry. Actually, hold on. The work that these two. Thank you. The work that these two do on the Unconference, which, by the way have just continue every year to get better and better has been amazing. And for those of you that didn't make the unconference this year, you better make the next one at Summit. But these are some of the women that are behind that and make that possible. So thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. All right, so that's the end of the show for today here in this room. 
right now, you should all go down to the foundry floor. Coffee, tea, a little bit of snack. Um, we've got a break until about 11.10 when all the breakout sessions are gonna start. And I, honestly, I'll tell you, I don't know which one, uh, which track to go to. There's a lot of amazing talks that are, that are happening today. Um, and then again, we'll see you here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Those of you going out to dinner tonight, please do pick a buddy and make sure that you are able to wake up in the morning. We expect to see all of you. Um, have a wonderful time today. Interact with each other, learn from each other, interact with the contributors, and, um, and share. Thank you.